Hey, what's happening, YouTube? Good morning. Saturday morning, 8.30 a.m. I'm on my way to get some cash because there are yard sales in my area, finally, and it's not raining. It rained the past three weekends in a row. Um, I noticed some of the yard sales that were up last weekend, the signs are up again. They took them down, they put them back up, so they're, they're uh, probably didn't have much luck last weekend. So I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna go by the ATM, I'm gonna get my cash, and I got a good feeling about today, the power of positivity. Uh, I'm gonna find some good stuff, hopefully, and get some good sales. So let's get going. <laughs> Right, so we're making progress the first yard sale actually was a total bust and if you remember a few videos back I hit up a yard sale it was like the first one of the year it may have been in March and I bought a remote and a guy was selling a ton of record player or a ton of vinyl that was way overpriced and a lot of his stuff was overpriced honestly uh, so the first yard sale was that same guy and I thought the address sounded familiar I guess he's still trying to sell that stuff a month later so I mean I don't know I mean to each their own Second yard sale, very small, young family. A uh, little girl had her little table set up, and I always like to see that. So I'm a sucker for a kid trying to make make a buck. <laughs> so, uh, but I bought a few dolls off her. She had one little uh, type of doll. I don't think it's a monster. It's not monster high, but it, it, it's going to go for more than a buck. I know that. And then I I moved some stuff, and she had a big uh, Mulan. Plush, uh, and I had to ask her what it was because I couldn't remember. Um, she had a big Mulan uh, plush, and uh, she had like three bucks on it. And I said, I'll go ahead and take that. And I mean, uh, really, it's like three bucks is probably more than I would want to spend. I'd want to get like a dollar for it. And actually, she goes, You can have it for a dollar if you want. Oh my gosh, no. I was like, Here you go. I was like, You can have it. And it's like a little entrepreneur like that trying to make the extra buck. You know, it's like, No, she's selling off her toys. I'll give you an extra buck or whatever. Those plush Disney plushes can go for upwards of 20 or so. Uh, so that's pretty good. So I'm on my way. I still got about four more sales to go to. And uh, I'll show you guys what I come up with when I get back. Hey, what's going on? All right. So we're back from uh, the yard sales. And I did pretty good. Uh, for the sales that I hit today, I think I went to four or five. Only one sale that I went to really didn't have anything that I wanted to purchase. Uh, but we found some good stuff. Uh, so let me show you what I got here. We'll start with uh, the first sale that I went to. And I think I mentioned already. Uh, let me just get that situated here for a second. First sale I went to was a young family. Um, they had a little girl selling stuff. Her own dolls and that kind of thing. Uh, the first go around, like I bought this doll. Uh, I don't know what brand this is. I'm not sure exactly, but her hair is kind of crazy. So I paid a buck for that, uh, but we'll see what the resale value on this is. And then I went back, and this is the one where she had Mulan on it. Uh, Mulan, I had to ask her what the name was. She was like, Mulan. I'm like, oh, yeah, I knew that. So uh, she had three bucks on that, and I just went ahead and gave her three bucks for it, even though she said I could have it for a dollar, but I'm like, I'm not going to do that to the kid. Uh, even her mom was like, oh, three dollars? And I'm like, yes, whatever. A little kid trying to make some extra money. Give her a couple extra bucks. So, yeah. And then they had a couple t-shirts there um, that they only won a dollar for. I uh, saw this Vans t-shirt. Vans products, they do pretty well. The shirt's in pretty good shape. It does have a little spot right up there. So I'm going to try if I can get that spot out. Uh, but otherwise, this is a nice Vans t-shirt. And then they had this little Spongebob shirt. Uh, looks pretty cool. Looks pretty new, really. Not very worn. So, nice little Spongebob t-shirt. Spongebob, popular with the kids. Get that out of the way. So, then we went to the next sale. And uh, this one was probably my best one yet. Um, well, so far, today. <laughs> my best one yet. Uh... They had, first thing I saw was this printer. It's an HP LaserJet P2015D. I looked up comps on it. This bad boy's heavy. So probably gonna have to use UPS or something like that to ship it. But uh, he's got some paper spraying on, on it. Didn't have the cores, power cords. You know how it goes. Uh, hey, does this printer work? Yeah, last time I used it, it works. Okay, so this is where I start asking questions so I can get the best price. 
do you have a cable for it? No. Do you have the power cable for it? No. Well, I don't know. What do you want for it? He's like, make me an offer. And I'm like, oh, well, I wasn't prepared for that. I'm like, let me think about it. And it's like, I, I want this thing as cheap as I can possibly get. I know exactly what I want for it. So he's like, how about five bucks? And I'm like, okay, let me think about it. <clears throat> I start looking up comps for it. If it works, it sells for 80 to over $150, $100, something like that. So yeah, I was like, okay, yeah, I'll take it for five bucks. I'll probably have to buy a cable for it. I'll probably have to buy, I don't know if it's wireless or not. I'll have to look up the specs on it. Um, it might be wireless. So if I just have to get a power cable, that's gonna be pretty cheap, under $10. Um, but yeah, so I'd be like 15 all in to make 80 to 100, something like that, depending on how the shipping goes. So that's pretty good. See if I got some free paper. I did. I got some free computer paper. All right. Uh, next item they had, she basically threw this in. First she said a quarter, but we ended up doing a bundle deal for everything, and I'll tell you the price pretty much all together. Got a Mizzou beanie. Uh, she had a bunch of these craft uh, stamp things, and I can't pull it out of here. So a bunch of these guys, there was uh, 13 of them. And she had a mark for four dollars a piece and i said of course if i buy all of them can you give me a better deal and she's like well how about two bucks a piece I'm like that's not bad i was like okay i was like we're at uh, uh 26 dollars uh for that so i ended up basically getting uh what she wanted for those the printer i got an hp um uh, calculator here financial calculator i don't know if these go for much probably not very much but it is hp uh they had 50 cents for that but for everything i pay 26 dollars uh the printer uh this little in sync bag i asked if she would throw that in and she was like yeah so this old vintage in sync bag those labels that beanie the printer this calculator 26 dollars. so that ain't bad did pretty good oh i forgot also this uh, vintage underdog sweatshirt I saw that right on top and I snatched it up. Check out that guy. Underdog, the old cartoon. It's got the old tag that I always talk about. And uh, even the year. So, which I checked was the copyright. Pretty sure it says 1997. Probably can't see that, but we'll try to get it in there. Copyright 1997, I think is what it says right about there. So. Vintage sweatshirt. Um, we'll see if we can sell this guy, what this goes for. I don't know what the comps are. I'll look it up and I'll throw it in so you can see. And then the last sale that I went to was a retired teacher. Uh, she was selling a lot of different stuff. They had a lot of books and that kind of stuff. And I don't know, some, some items I just didn't want to go for. But I found these old clipboards. So especially this one right here. So I saw this guy on TikTok just sold a couple of uh, clipboards and they went to like a movie set design or something like that. But I looked up wooden vintage clipboards like these. These kinds sell for about 20 bucks a piece. Uh, and these sell for like four of them for like $15 or something like that. She so had 25 cents each on here. There was $4.25 worth of clipboards. She said, I'll just take four bucks for it and I get to keep the tub. So boom. That's pretty good. Uh, so all in all, I spent twenty-six dollars. Uh, figure I'm gonna get eighty to hundred for that. All the clipboard stuff, I might be able to make close to a hundred bucks. I'm uh, maybe not a hundred, eighty bucks on that. I don't know. So we're looking. I spent, you know, thirty-four dollars today. Maybe a little bit less than that, uh, and I should make some pretty good money on that. And that's why I love yard sales. The prices are just cheap. Dollar fifty cents whatever. So I'm um, looking forward to next week already. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Stay tuned for the rest of the stuff that I sold guys. And I appreciate it. Thanks. Okay. So what you just saw was last weekend's a week ago or so yard sales. Now I'm going to show you what I did this past weekend, uh, in yard sales and there was only one, so it's going to be a quick one. Uh, so I went to one, uh, yard sale and the first items that I saw right away, uh, I saw some golf clubs, uh, this one was priced at $2. This is a uh, MG Golf 415CR Master Grip uh, designed by Pat Simmons. It's a putter. Uh, so, I mean, it's not like a, the best shape or anything, uh, but it's two bucks. The grip's on it, pretty nice. I looked it up and they sell for around $24, $25. Uh, 
$25 plus shipping, something like that. Uh, and then she had this Nike uh, driver. I looked this up, had it priced at 10. She's pretty firm with that. Uh, plus I was wanting to work a deal on something else, which I'll show you in just a second. Uh, but so the grip looks pretty good, uh, but this driver goes for uh, around $60 plus shipping um, or close to right under that $60 plus shipping this Nike driver. So 10 bucks for that's not bad. I'll make 50 bucks on that. Hopefully as that goes, uh, let's see here. All right, and then, so that was yard sales. And let me show you what I made, or what I, the deal I made on something else real quick. It's a screen record, so I'll show you uh, up in just a second. All right, so one of the other things that I found here uh, was this lot of Shonen Jump Magna magazines from 2004, 2009. Uh, there's a lot of 44 of them, and there are also these uh, different other graphic novels that were inside a big tub. Uh, so I looked up these, uh, I looked up these books uh, while I was there talking to the lady, and uh, some of these books sell between five to twenty dollars each. Uh, so obviously there's a giant tub of them. So I was kind of wanting to get a good deal on them. So I asked her how much she wanted for the whole tub uh, of books, and she said ten dollars. So obviously that was a pretty good deal. Uh, but I, I lot of these all up in uh, one whole big lot. Uh, for $160, that's less than $4 a book. Uh, I did see some comps go for like some large sales. Uh, and this magazine right here, uh, if it had that card on it, um, then there's like a card that came with this magazine. And uh, this book is like worth 200 bucks if it had that card, but it doesn't. <laughs> so of course it doesn't. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to see what happens. If not, I could break these up, maybe sell them in smaller lots. Uh, but I got 160 and I'm going to take a best offer on that probably. So uh, we will see what happens. All right. So that was my yard sales that I had uh, for the past couple of weeks. Got to love the yard sales. Very good prices on them. Found a lot of good stuff. Some of which I've already sold, which I'll show you here in a second. Uh, but let me show you what I got from Goodwill yesterday real quick. I won't spend a bunch of time on it. Really good buy here. This was only $4. A Nike Illinois Illini pullovers in very nice condition. Uh, we have a Ralph Lauren shirt. These, oh no, this one's a Brooks Brothers. These Brooks Brothers shirts sell for me pretty well. Uh, this was $4. Uh, so, but these shirts I uh, sell for around 50, or, um, 15 to $20 plus shipping. Uh, this one was brand new with tags. Uh, this was a Tattoo Golf Lucky 13 series. I don't really know much about these shirts, but it was brand new, $4. Uh, so that's good. I'll probably list that for 20 or over plus shipping. Uh, this one had a little mark on it and the tags fading, but these golf shirts do pretty good. This is Ping. Had the logo thing on the back. Very nice golf polo. So that was four bucks. Another shirt here. This is a Ralph Lauren Classic Fit short sleeve button up. I'll have to get the wrinkles out of that. Uh, again, four bucks for that. Pretty nice there. We have this Karen Kingsbury above the line. I don't know, it was a brand new, only paid three bucks for it. Uh, but these sell for some, I think it was 15 to 20 on eBay. And save that one for last. Uh, this item I think I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna clean it up. Uh, it was just a Mark McGuire, St. Louis Cardinals bobblehead. Uh, so, you know, I only paid two bucks for them. I think I'll put them up here on the shelf. We're gonna keep that guy. Uh, just a hat, looks like it's new. Triathlon Collegiate Club, I don't know, two bucks for that. Usually hats I can get 10 to $15 plus shipping or more. Uh, this one was actually a yard sale hat. Uh, it was a Callaway golf hat, paid a buck for it. Pretty good there. Uh, another, this is a Marmot. Marmot's a good brand, long sleeve, paid four bucks for it. Uh, pull over, so that's pretty nice. Wind stopper says on the back. And I'm going pretty quick because I know these clothes can be kind of boring. Uh, but this is another nice shirt. Um, I think this is a Ralph Lauren one. Yeah, Ralph Lauren shirt, uh, long sleeve button up, looks really nice. I found the whenever, yeah, I think this one's new. It's still got like a tag on it. 
But I, whenever I see these dry cleaning stickers on these, the, the shirts tend to be in really good condition. So I don't know if they were like donated from a dry cleaner that people left or something, but uh, this is a nice one. It's got the pink horse on it. So pretty cool, nice little shirt. Um, then I found these Star Wars guys. Uh, I think I'm gonna lot them all together. Um, I probably paid too much for them. Would like to get this kind of stuff at about a dollar a piece, but I paid $3 a piece. Uh, then we got the ATST. Uh, what year is this? Uh, that doesn't say. Well, this, this sticker on this one's covering it. So we'll look this up. So we've got ATST there. We've got an A Wing fighter. So they all, these, all these, like, uh, they come with like little stands and stuff. They're Hot Wheels brand. Then we have the Phantom. So it looks like in this series there was only six. I oh, know there's more. I don't know. Sorry. Uh, and then we have Ray Speeder. Oh, so this isn't too old. That's actually pretty cool. Um, we got Ray Speeder. These are all three bucks a piece, so I spent twelve dollars on them. Uh, I think I'm gonna excuse. Them, I'm trying to sneeze. Uh, I think I'm gonna lock these up for somewhere around thirty. Uh, thirty plus shipping. They're pretty light. They won't cost very much to ship. And we'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll be able to double my money on them. If not, I'll keep them because they're kind of neat. And then I found uh, this mug, which I'm also pr pretty much going to keep, I think. There we go. Get the old uh, thumbnail for YouTube. <laughs> yep, hard work pays off. That is not a lie. This is probably going to go up here somewhere. I'm going to keep that mug. Lastly is my best item and they put this the sticker on this one in a great place <laughs> right on her forehead three bucks uh for a oh maybe they're all like that she's got a big old bald spot on her head here i don't know but this is a cabbage patch kid and i'm pretty sure this is an original one because the last one I bought was like from like the 2000s, but this tag says 1978-1982. And then I've learned on the back of her head, it also has a date. And I read it in the store and it says 1979-1982. So now, I don't know if you can see that, but that's what it says. Uh, it's got the, uh, you know, little signature on the rear end. But these original vintage Cabbage Patch Kids, I just saw a tick guy on TikTok did an auction for one and sold for like $90. So I paid $3 for this. That's it. That's why we go to Goodwill because, you know, hard work pays off. All right. That's all I got. Let me show you what I uh, sold real quick for the last week and a half. And uh, we will be done with this. Thanks for coming by. Hey guys, all right, so I'm gonna show you what I sold the past week and a half or so. Uh, here is, let me make a quick adjustment, okay? All right, so this is what I've got. Uh, so first thing, the last thing that I left off with was this Western wear shirt. So we're gonna start here. So I sold another Western style shirt. Uh, I got this from Goodwill, I paid four bucks for it. Uh, these uh, button up kind of shirts, uh, they do pretty good for me, like I've said in the past. I was running a sale in my store, that's why I was showing that line through it. But I ended up selling this for $15.99 plus shipping. Uh, it's a pretty nice little shirt there. And next shirt here, or next item, I don't know if it was a shirt. Uh, let's see here. I wonder if this is going to be difficult for me to do. I don't have to keep scrolling down every single time. Uh, so we've sold some of these suspenders. Uh, I got these at Goodwill for a dollar. I didn't make too much of them. Uh, I sold it for $3.99 plus shipping. Uh, they're real easy to package and whatnot, so that was pretty nice. And, well, this isn't going that smooth so far like I did last time. <clears throat> there we go. All right. So we got those suspenders, like I said, I paid a buck for them. Uh, here we have a vintage St. Louis Cardinals. This is a football uh, St. Louis Cardinals when we had a football team way back when. I got this shirt at online auction hall. Uh, I'm pretty sure I paid like a dollar, maybe it was like $2 or something for it, but I got a really good deal on it. Sold it for $19.99 plus shipping. Um, those vintage items, they always do well. Uh, I always try to look out for them when I can. We've got another Western wear shirt. 
This is a long sleeve. I got this at Goodwill again for uh, four bucks. Uh, this one almost looked like brand new. This is a nice shirt. Uh, sold it for $11.99 plus shipping. Uh, I've been doing the best that I can keeping my eye out on items like that at Goodwill. Uh, they seem to do pretty good. A US Open Golf Pebble Beach hat. This is like what somebody, a USGA member would wear. Uh, got this at Goodwill, I'm gonna say $2 probably. Uh, sold it for $10.39 plus shipping. Then we have, uh, I got this at a yard sale. I think I paid $1.50 for it. This didn't sell for very much. I was just kind of taking a chance on it. Some of these baits or old baits can go for a little bit. $4.79 plus shipping. Uh, when you're at yard sales, that kind of stuff, look for old baits, wooden baits. Heaton is a good brand. Old Tackle Box, Umco. UMCO or it's UMBCO, something like that. Vintage tackle stuff I've sold, they sell for good money. Keep an eye out for that. Other thing I like picking up are these little coolers. Uh, you'd be surprised how many of these coolers that I sell to like Puerto Rico or something like that. Like uh, they go outside the country and uh, these vintage ones do pretty good. They got these color schemes and that kind of stuff. But I pick these up for cheap, like one or $2 yard sales, clean them up real nice. $12.79 plus shipping. I had a list for $15.99. It was on sale. Uh, but I almost always get $12 to $15 for those little coolers. And I pick them up cheap for like a buck. So, gotta love that. Next item here. Yeah, I really like getting those coolers. Uh, I put them in large mailing boxes, USPS large mailing boxes. You get them for free, USPS.com. They fit perfectly and it works out well. Sold a little Einstein's pillowcase. Got this at Goodwill for, I think I paid $2 for it. $10.39 plus shipping. Uh, old vintage, like uh, curtains, sheets, pillowcase stuff, um, like that are old cartoons or movies, that kind of stuff. Some of those stuff can go really, really well. So that's why I started to pick them up. Here's an item that didn't uh, make a bunch of money on. Uh, so I try to be as transparent as I can here with you guys. Uh, this sold for $4.99, free shipping. Uh, it cost me probably 3 to $4 to ship. I probably broke even on this. I picked these up at Dollar Tree for a dollar. I thought, oh, I could probably make these, you know, make some extra money on them. Sat on them for a while, kept lowering the price. And they sold, but they sold for what, pretty much what I paid for them. A um, lot of 10, 1995 Upper Deck Sumo Dudes. These are Pogs. Uh, in the 90s, Pogs was like a real big thing. They were like these circular cardboard things where you slam a metal thing down, you give them the flip over. It was like a trading card kind of thing. Uh, but these were sumo dudes and they were unopened uh, from 1995. I don't remember how much I paid for it. I think it was three or four dollars. Uh, but they sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Got those from an online auction from highbid.com. Uh, somebody collected them, I guess, and uh, they were having a, a sale on them. So I figured, you know what, I'll pick them up. They might go for something. All right, next item. Oh, that one was canceled. Okay, here's a good one. Uh, so this is a Funko Verse strategy game. Funko Pops, you know, are collectible. Uh, they sell pretty well uh, for the most part. Uh, this one was 2021 Alice in Wonderland Disney strategy game, uh, but it was Chase. So these little stickers right here, see how it says Chase on it? Uh, and I'll show you a better picture of it. This is limited Chase edition. You can see her dress is kind of sparkly. So because that was a limited Chase edition, uh, I paid $25 for this, but that's uh, like a rare version of it. Um, and like the, her other, the other boxes, um, her dress, I was gonna to point to it, but you guys can't see what I'm pointing. So you can see the dress is sparkly there. But on like the other boxes, like they look plain, just like the Alice's dress there. So this one was special, it's rare. So, but I ended up making uh, 25 bucks on it. Sold for $50 uh, plus shipping. So keep an eye out, looking for Funko Pops. Look at the box, they got that little chase icon. Uh, you need to pick those up. This battery, uh, I bought this at a yard sale for a dollar uh, last summer. Let's go cooperate with me here. Uh, I got it for last summer, $6.99. I always pick up remotes, batteries, uh, AC adapters, that kind of stuff. Uh, that took a little while to sell, but I figured it probably wouldn't for a buck. I mean, it's not like it's taking up any space or anything. So 
uh, that's a pretty good buy. This I also got at a yard sale. Um, I'm pretty sure I didn't pay any more than a dollar for it. $5.99. There was something, a game that was included in something that I didn't know I was getting. This might have been it. Uh, so $5.99 plus shipping for just the game without the case or book and that kind of stuff. That's pretty much what you're going to get for it. Then we got an L.L. Bean hooded sweatshirt. Uh, hoodie, you know, it was, it was kind of thin, uh, but it was really nice, and it did have a kind of like a little, a uh, little mark on it here, uh, right around there. Uh, so, um, but it still sold. I paid four dollars for it. Sold for twenty four ninety nine plus shipping. LL Bean sells really well, uh, so I highly advise you to pick that up if you're looking to resell. Um, so then we sold these pants. I found these at Goodwill. I think I paid $6 for them. Uh, it was a while back, but they were Detroit Pistons. Um, but it was like the old kind of logo. Uh, and they were Terray. You know, they looked really nice. The brand didn't really have like a brand on it or anything, but they, I don't know. They looked nice. But I sold them for $39 plus shipping. So that was pretty good. Um, let's see here. Uh, this old thermos sat on this for a long time. Um, Got to be careful with that vintage thermos stuff, I guess. It doesn't sell real well. I'm pretty sure I paid like 6 or $8 for this. Sold it for $11 plus shipping. Uh, didn't make very much on it. So uh, some of those things, I don't know. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was just mine. Maybe it was just crappy. Who knows? <laughs> they didn't sell real well. Sold some more of my vintage uh, pull tab cans. I was happy to get rid of some more of those. I still have a little bit left, um, but it was a lot of nine cans. Uh, these cans are actually pretty cool. Uh, if anybody's a collector, some of them are kind of in rough shape, but nine to five, reading some of these old brands, there's an old hams. Uh, so, uh, but I'm into those cans for like six cents a piece. So that's like 50 cents for all those cans, a little bit more than that. Sold for $16.99 plus shipping. Um, they do sell, um, but some of them, some brands, sell faster than others uh these were just i got a few small sales in these guys so uh, i bought a whole bunch of legos from a kid that was in a case sorted all the legos out sold the case separately uh, these were like star wars weapons and other weapons uh sold them separately for five dollars and 94 cents plus shipping so you wouldn't think somebody would pay for that much for them but they would and i know six dollars isn't that much money but hey it all adds up right we got this white uh, St. Louis Blues hockey strap back hat. Got this at Goodwill. Pretty sure I paid two bucks for it. Uh, pretty nice hat. $10.19 plus shipping. <clears throat> Love selling hats. I don't know why. Probably because they're easy to store, easy to keep, and I just like hats. All right, so you see all these suspenders right here? So you saw that suspenders that I sold uh, just a few moments ago that I showed you? Uh, the person was so happy with it, they came and they bought the rest of the suspenders that I had. Uh, made a deal with them uh, for uh, basically $12 plus shipping for all of them. Uh, put them at $4 a piece. Uh, I only paid a dollar a piece for them, so three bucks. Uh, I was into them, so I made $9 plus shipping on that. Uh, it wasn't huge, but uh, I'll show you one of them here. Uh, they all kind of look like that. They're all brand new. I guess they're pretty nice, but when I was at Goodwill, they had a huge cart of these things. I mean, there must have been 200 or more. And I just picked out some of like each color that I kind of liked. Uh, but I'm, I'm glad I didn't buy a ton of them because they took a long time to sell. And I'm glad I got rid of them. Now we got another Plains Western Wear long sleeve shirt. Uh, so this one, again, these shirts, I mean, um, I haven't heard of this brand Plains, but uh, they're doing pretty good. I mean, I had to sell on this one $12.74. Paid four bucks on it, so I made about eight or nine dollars. Uh, well, after fees, probably about eight bucks on it. Uh, but again, those shirts, like as long as they're not wrinkly and I don't have to clean them up and get a bunch of wrinkles out, spend a bunch of time making pictures, they they do good. And, uh, this align I had, I got this at Goodwill. I paid four bucks for it. I'm surprised it took so long to sell. It was brand new with the tags, the stickers, everything. I mean. It just looked nice, you know, so I, I don't know what happened there, but somebody bought it for $15.72 plus shipping with that sale that I was going, had going on my store. <clears throat> it's a nice little hat. Another Plains Western Wear 
Uh, pearl snap, short sleeve shirt here, excellent condition. This one was in excellent condition. Looked like a brand new shirt, that's pretty sharp. Um, yeah, $12.74 plus shipping. So those plain shirts, I'm making eight to ten dollars each. Brooks Brothers, I'm making ten to fifteen each. Ralph Lauren shirts, usually uh, fifteen or more, that kind of stuff. Here's that Disney uh, plush that I was just talking about. Um, I picked this up at a yard sale a couple weekends ago. Uh, Mulan. I had to ask a young lady, "Who is this again?" She goes, "Mulan." I'm like, "Oh yeah, I knew that." And really, I didn't. <laughs> but uh, she was in pretty good shape. She was uh, asking three dollars for it. She said I could have it for a dollar. I was like, "No, I'll just go ahead and pay three bucks." I'm like that. She had her own little table set up, but it sold for thirteen dollars and sixty cents plus shipping. So I made ten bucks on that guy, that gal, whatever. All right. <clears throat> so uh, this buyer here, while you're seeing canceled, and then they bought. So basically, he selected local shipping on accident. That's happened to me twice now. Uh, I canceled it, and then I put it back up, and then he paid me full price for it. Whatever. <laughs> so, uh, this is a PGA Tour hat. I got this at Goodwill. I paid two bucks for it. Um, pretty nice little hat. PGA Hazleton 2009. Uh, sold it for $19.99 plus shipping. Still had the tags on it and everything. The little cardboard insert and everything on there. So, nice little hat. Another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, crust sandwiches here. You already saw one. I'm not going to open it up. It sold for $5.25 uh, free shipping, so didn't make much on that. Sold some of my old wrestling guys uh, from when I was a kid. Vintage Hasbro 1991 Bushwhackers. Uh, if you remember 80s, 90s wrestling, the Bushwhacker guys, uh, they were freaking hilarious. I remember as a kid thinking how goofy these guys were. Uh, but I always liked them. So I sold the tag team for $16.99 plus shipping. That's pretty cool. And let's see here. We're almost got it wrapped up. A couple weeks ago on one of my videos, I bought this at one of those bin stores. Uh, I paid $6 for this. Everything in the bin was like 6 bucks. This is Luke. I don't know how to... Coakley? Coakley? I don't know how to say his name. Played on the Panthers for a really long time. Uh, paid six bucks for, sold it for sixteen ninety nine uh, plus shipping, so I made about ten bucks on that. That's a drawstring backpack. I don't think I mentioned that, but you can see it in the title. And then we have an iPad case. This is just one we had laying around the house. We bought it for my daughter. I got a clearance at Best Buy. Um, I think I broke even on this, or maybe even lost money. It was just something sitting around the house that I know we need, we could sell. Uh, so yeah, sold for $8.49 plus shipping. And I think we only got a few left here, guys. Just sold another cooler. I uh, paid the, for this. Uh, I'm pretty sure I paid a dollar for this for an, on, an online auction. Uh, it's a nice Playmate Elite cooler. It's a pretty good size one, big one. This one still fit in that 12 by 12 by 8 large mailing box that you can get from uh, USPS. I sold for $12.32 plus shipping. Uh, so uh, that was my Bluetooth speaker. I don't know if you just heard it. But anyway, um, yeah, $12.32 plus shipping. Again, on these coolers, um, I make about 10 bucks, 10 to 15 bucks a cooler. Uh, but you gotta get them cheap. I always say that. You gotta get them cheap for a buck. I try not to pay more than a buck, two bucks for them, that kind of thing, if they're in really nice condition. Um, yeah. You can pay a lot more. I did sell one a while back. I don't know if I can find it. I'll put it in here for you. I bought a, it was called Igloo Little Cool Rest or Little Cool Rest Cooler. You put on your center console in your car. It had a cup holders and it was a cooler. Uh, that I paid $2 for at a yard sale, cleaned it up, and I sold it for $105. So keep an eye out for vintage coolers because some of them can go for a lot of money. This is something that I got and I'm one of those Loot Crate, uh, subscription things. It's a lanyard you put your keys or ID on. It's Mega Man from the old Nintendo games. Uh, I was just parting stuff out. $4.25. 25 cents? Farty far. I'm sorry. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I didn't make much money on that. And then today I had a sale that I got a package up. Uh, was this Peanut Snoopy. I got this at Goodwill. I think I paid two or four dollars for it. I don't think I paid four bucks. Usually these plushes I get around two bucks, three bucks, something like that. 
Uh, but it's very soft, nice, uh, $14.99 plus shipping. Who would have thought? Stuffed animals, plushes, people buy it. I don't know. I don't get it. Whatever. So that's it. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. I hope I got through this pretty quick. I hope I didn't bore you. Uh, thanks for coming by the channel, and I appreciate it so much. All right, guys. Thanks for coming by the channel. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed everything. As always, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Stay safe out there, all right?